Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get Neoforge mods for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them, but simply go to your search box and find a website which hosts mods. And there is a website called Modrint which does just that, that's Modrint like so. And once you search up Modrint, you'll see modrint.com and simply click on the link. Once you've done that, you'll be on the Modrint homepage and you can go to the top of the website, go to discover content and go down to mods. So once you've done that, what you can do is simply go down on the website and you'll find a loader section. Simply select Neoforge because it will filter only mods which are available for Neoforge as well as other loaders, but at least you know it is available for Neoforge. So, here we have all the mods which are available for Neoforge on this website, including 325 pages of them. And what we can do is select a mod from this list. So, I will select this mod right here, Xero's Minimap, and once you found your mod, simply click the name, and you'll be sent to the mods page on Modrint. What you want to do here is make sure that your mod is compatible with your version and that it indeed has Neoforge, but if it's in the list that you just selected before, it will be fine. So, what you want to do here is simply go to versions and once you're on versions, you want to find the game version that you want. I want the latest one for example, so 1.1.4 and you want to find Neoforge in the platforms that we have right here. So the version that we want is this one for example. If you can't find Neoforge or your versions because it's a very active mod, you can select these filters here and you'll be able to find your mod that you want. So here we can see that we have the latest one and Neoforge right here. Let's just click the green download button and we should have Xero's minimap for example downloaded on the computer. And what you want to do here is simply go on the name of the version and here we can see that under dependencies there is nothing required. It is optional if you want it, but there is no mod which are required to get your mod to work. So just make sure of that. Now, we need to get Neoforge on our Minecraft launcher. And the way we do this is quite simple. We just need to go to the Neoforge website. So we need to go to a new tab and simply go to your search box and search up Neoforge Minecraft like so, and you'll find a Neoforged website. So what you want to do here is simply go on neoforge.net, click the link, and then you have Neoforge right here. What you want to do here is simply go on four older versions. Now the reason for this is just because it has an easier to understand list. And if we click this, we're going to have click to go to the version list. And here we have a new page where we can select our game version and the new version that we want that is available for that game version. We know that our version of the mod we have downloaded is 1.1.4, so we will need the new version and the Minecraft version to be available for 1.1.4. So what you want to do here is simply select those and once you have the version that you need, simply go on the download button. So now Neoforge is being downloaded and it is now downloaded to our computer as well. So what you want to do here is simply close your web browser and what you want to do now is simply go to your downloads folder by going to your file explorer and then going to your downloads folder. Now if you don't see anything here it's just because you have a different destination for your web browser but for most of you guys you'll see your mods and your Neoforge installer right here. So. What you want to do now is simply make sure you have Java for Windows. If you don't see any icon of Java or you can't run the files, I will have a link in the description to a tutorial and to the Java files to install so you can actually run the installer. But if you already have Java or you just have downloaded it, simply double click the Neoforge installer. Here it's going to say it is a Neoforge 21450, that is the name of your Neoforge thingy. If you have indeed gotten the right version, you can just do proceed 
and it's gonna download the NeoForge files. So, what you wanna do now is simply wait for all the files to be downloaded, and then we will be able to continue with the tutorial. Okay, once the installation is complete, simply do OK and it's going to close everything. And now we can open up our Minecraft launcher. So, once the Minecraft launcher is opening, we will be able to see that we have NeoForge right here. Now, what this means? Well, it means that we can now go to our installations and go and see that we have NeoForge. We can hover over NeoForge and go to our Minecraft folder by clicking the folder icon. And once you're here, all you want to do is simply make sure that you have a mods folder because we need to put a mod in our mods folder. And the way you do this is by doing two things, either launching the game and having a mod folder automatically show up, or by right clicking, doing no, folder, and renaming this to mods. Like so. You can remake a new folder and rename it mods and that will work as well. So just make sure to have a mods folder inside your Minecraft folder like so. Once you have a mods folder, simply double click the mods folder and go to downloads and copy your mod or mods. And use the top left arrow to go back to mods and paste. And now you have your mod, your Xerbos Minion for example in the .minecraft mods folder. And what you can do now is simply go to your Minecraft launcher, play, make sure to have new forge selected, and click play, you can do I understand the risks, and do play. Now what you can do is simply wait for all the files to be downloaded and processed, and now we can wait for Minecraft to load up. So let's just wait for that. Okay, here we can see we have NeoForge right here, as well as the Minecraft window. So let's just wait for Minecraft to load up. So there you go. And now we have NeoForge. Here we can see we have the version 1.1.4, so that works. And if we go to our mods folder, we can see we have Xero's Minimap. So what we can do now is simply go to single player, multiplayer, or realms, depends on what mod you have downloaded. But if I go to single player world, you should be able to see the Exibus minimap mod I have downloaded here working. As you can see on the top left corner, we do have the Exibus minimap currently working. So yeah, that's how we get mods from NeoForge working on Minecraft Java in 2025. So. If you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!